pageant was a regular ratings winner. And oh, how we love to rate the lovely ladies. And the host. I have, in fact, picked one. Not the winner, you understand. I've just picked one. At four is breaking news that would unite the nation. And now for the latest news and pictures from America, over to the newsroom. The death of John F. Kennedy happened in Dallas at 25 past 12. In our time, 25 past 6 this evening. 35 minutes later, President Kennedy was dead. He was greatly loved in this country. I was a young man, and he seemed young and attractive. He was modern. He was a modern person. I was in our lounge, and my mother and father were there, and it came blurting out on the television, and there was just a tremendous sense of shock. I was um, doing a television play. Suddenly, loudspeakers came on in the studio, and it told us that President Kennedy had been shot. Like the Secret Service guards was taken by surprise, Newsmen and cameramen... That was a, a shock and, uh, and uh, very, very upsetting. And saw her holding him in her arms as the car sped away. I was at home, my family home, and I was actually watching television. All I can remember is a, a revolving globe because it appears that the great and the good in television were all giving each other prizes. The whole of television industry were gathering at the hotel in Park Lane in London because it was an awards night, a predecessor to the BAFTA. So nobody was back home making decisions. BBC seemed to fall to pieces. They had a blank screen. You could feel the bewilderment coming out the screen. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? Eventually, someone thought, well, we'd better play the programme that we were about to transmit, and they did. Suddenly, it was Harry Worth, a comedy show. You cannot imagine anything less appropriate, except for one person in the world who really loved it, which was my father, who adored Harry Worth, and he sat down happily and watched the programme. <laughs> I've never forgotten that. And poor Harry never forgave. He said, how could they do that? The extraordinary thing about the Kennedy assassination was not that there was news, but that there wasn't news. That for those aching long minutes, I don't know how long it was before they played Harry Worth, nobody told us any more. And so that was a, a, a major failure in television as a news medium. There weren't then the great standby programmes like there are today of, uh, for eventualities of this kind. It never happened be be before. Um, so there was quite a lot of chaos. Right, we'll be feeding you shortly now. We had a little trouble here. This is it, this is it. As a modern television news operator, I just can't imagine how people wrestled with the assassination of Kennedy. You're getting it okay, right? There was no immediate 24-hour news coverage, no switch on the telly, let's see what's happened. You couldn't. You couldn't even make a transatlantic phone call without booking it about three hours in advance. So, you know, access to immediate information was zilch. There is no question that, that the, the death of Kennedy was the beginning in this country of, of television being the main source of the news to the British public. That was a tipping point. There's no question about that. In at three, the royal family get their first regular TV show. They do it something like this. <laughs> 